Hey there, DIY enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to walk you through the process of changing your engine coolant. Regularly changing your coolant is crucial to maintaining your engine's health, preventing overheating, and ensuring your car runs smoothly. So let's get started. First, let's go over the tools and materials you'll need. Safety gloves and goggles, jack and jack stands or ramps, drain pond, funnel. Coolant check your vehicle's manual for the type. Distilled water, wrenches or pliers, a cloth or rag. Safety first, make sure your car is parked on a flat surface and the engine is cool. Never work on a hot engine. Step 1. Lift the vehicle using a jack and secure it with jack stands or drive it onto ramps. This will give you access to the radiator drain plug. Step 2. Locate the radiator drain plug. Place your drain pan underneath and carefully open the plug using a wrench or pliers. Allow the old coolant to fully drain out. Be patient and let it all drain out. Old coolant can be harmful, so handle it with care and dispose of it properly. Step 3. Flushing the system. Once the old coolant has drained, close the drain plug and fill the radiator with distilled water. Start the engine and let it run for a few minutes with the heater on. This helps to circulate the distilled water and flush out any remaining coolant. After a few minutes, turn off the engine and let it cool. Then, drain the distilled water the same way you drained the coolant. Step 4. Refilling with new coolant. Close the drain plug again and use a funnel to pour the new coolant into the radiator. Most coolants require mixing with distilled water, usually in a 50 50 ratio. Check your coolant bottle for instructions. Fill the radiator until the coolant reaches the recommended level. Don't forget to fill the coolant reservoir to the appropriate level as well. Step 5. Bleeding the cooling system. Start the engine and let it run with the radiator cap off. This allows air bubbles to escape from the system. Keep an eye on the coolant level and add more if necessary. Once no more air bubbles are coming out, you can replace the radiator cap. Final checks lower your car back to the ground and check for any leaks around the drain plug and radiator cap. Finally, take your car for a short drive, keeping an eye on the temperature gauge. And that's it. You've successfully changed your engine coolant. Great job. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more DIY automotive tips, leave any questions or comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and happy driving.